Hello darlings, my name is Ronnie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 2 of this speed build in which we're building a row of traditional townhouses. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll leave the link here for you so you can go and watch it first. But if you have already watched it, welcome to part 2 and we're already jumping right into the... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> What a start! We're right jumping to the dormitory or the hall of residence, depends on uh, your uh, like on your preference of English variety. And right now we're working on the ground floor, which um, has the common area for all the university students living here. So this house is for four. It's it's for four Sims. <laughs> And um, that was a bit of a mouthful, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, this is a common area. So we have a dining area, a kitchen and a living area. And uh, everything is very blue and yellow. What I tried to do with this space was to somehow, like not necessarily personalize it, but rather to include items that I think would make sense in a dormitory. So there are, are some video game posters, there are some fairy lights. I really tried to um, combine uh, lovely and cheerful colors. There are going to be way more clutter items than in the previous apartment that I worked on that is situated above the pub. So this is going to be way more messy, but still I think it's um, it's <laughs> it's more simple than some uh, other builds of mine. So um, yeah, like I said, we're working on this common area, and I am really trying to make it look cozy and lived in. So right now I am adding some. Uh, they are technically towels, but I imagine them being uh, a blankets, a blankets. <laughs> Just blankets without the article there. Uh, I'm also adding uh, these. Oh my gosh, what, what are they called? Like these little mm, metallic thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't recall the word right now, but honestly, it made sense to me. Like you're usually supposed to use these in uh, in gyms. But I thought that uh, because I imagine there probably would be some locks on it, so maybe you could hide your possession there. Because when you think about it, there are four students living in this accommodation, so who knows whether they know each other. So this could work like some kind of space, uh, not space, safe, <laughs> where you could hide your like some expensive possessions. Or that was the idea behind it, at least for me. Now I'm working on this little coffee nook because, you know, university students need a lot of coffee uh, but I couldn't fit it in the kitchen area so I thought that maybe this would even make more sense especially when you're, you know, rushing to your classi uh, cl classic <sighs> classes <sighs> Bear with me darling, I'm so sorry <laughs> So yeah, when you rush uh, to, uh, to your classes, I thought it would be like it would make sense to just grab the coffee and and run. So now we're working on the first bedroom, and uh, to be honest, as far as the configuration, but also the color scheme of these bedrooms is concerned, um, it's uh, basically the same. I was just kind of using different pieces of furniture. So, and also, yeah, like, well, slightly different color scheme. So this first bedroom that's uh, located on the first floor is very bright and light. We're using cheerful colors, like this very vibrant yellow that's uh, both on the bedspread and on the uh, desk chair. So, yeah, I think that this part or like this, um, this bedroom is very lovely, very cheerful. And um, maybe I imagine that uh, younger students are living in this particular one. I'm yeah, I'm just searching for this 
beautiful. I absolutely love this uh, painting from um, from City Living, and I'll be using exactly the same one. Uh, in the other bedroom as well. First I'll use a different swatch, but then I'll use exactly the same one because I really tried to make it look like someone owns this house and they're just renting it uh, to the students. So I really wanted certain par parts to be like a bit more repetitive because in my opinion that kind of makes sense that uh, you would go for a very similar uh, furniture or paintings and you wouldn't really bother uh, too much, you know. So if you like something, you would use it there and... Um, so yeah, I imagine that this was probably, that painting was uh, placed there by the owner of the house rather than by the students. So now we're working on the second bedroom. Um, first I thought it would be very, very dark bedroom, but... <laughs> I really couldn't make up my mind here, you can see it, I was just checking out all the beds and yes, first really the idea was that I would make it uh, blue and pink with dark, like dark wood color scheme, but it really wasn't, I don't know, I didn't like it that much, it felt too, too different from the bedroom uh, beneath this one, so... In the end, I uh, decided to go still with a very like soft color scheme, but I'll be changing one of the bed spreads to a simple black one. And overall, this uh, bedroom is going to be slightly, slightly darker and slightly more gray. And um, yeah, I like it this way. So yeah, you can see me using this painting, but I'll be changing the swatch shortly. Like I said, the configuration is basically the same. I thought that adding uh, a TV, which I thought I was going to do right now, but I'm not. I'm doing it right now. Good. Uh, would also make sense because uh, this is the TV from uh, the Tiny Living Stuff Pack. And it's wonderful because it's, uh, yeah, it includes both the television, uh, the bookshelf and uh, a stereo. So uh, I thought that for such a small space, like these bedrooms uh, are very, like, they're very small. So uh, the tiny living items uh, felt uh, perfect for this space. So I'm once again decorating uh, the desk space. It's rather simple, but still, you know what? I really wanted to uh, make it look lived in and uh, realistic in a certain way but I didn't have any specific sims in my mind so it's all very like random I would say you have the future cube or whatever it is called and some other items so like I said very very random items here I'm working on this bathroom which I think is on the first floor if I'm not mistaken so I included uh, the washing machine and the dry what's it drying no what's it called dryer <sighs> I'm probably wrong but yeah I included those items from laundry day stuff back um, it just made a lot of sense to me and because we have two bathrooms I thought that it would make sense that one of them would be just a half bath whether this one that I'm currently working on is a full bathroom and I'm trying to make something uh, something slightly different well I I actually done something similar in the uh, pop apartment but yeah I'm trying to create a custom uh, a custom shower and I really love the look of this one and it works so nicely with the uh, give me a second dream home decorator and tiny living bathroom items. It all looks so so beautiful So yeah, this is my favorite bathroom actually <laughs> So I'm just decorating it in a very simple fashion, but I think it's okay Yeah, here I am changing uh, those um, Those paintings so that they're exactly the same and I'm also changing the color scheme of this particular of this particular bedroom uh, I yeah I think I imagine someone slightly older in this one, so maybe students that are soon to graduate and uh, graduate is probably how you pronounce if it's a verb, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought that maybe the darker color scheme would make a bit more sense. Uh, now I'm just trying to 
slightly decorate the landings. Uh, it's very simple. I'll be deleting that bookshelf in a second. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Uh, even though I probably liked it a bit more, but uh, everything is so like modern in this apartment, or not in this apartment, in this building, that it really didn't make sense to me to use uh, this uh, bookshelf, so I just deleted it. And once again, I am using the tiny living items, specifically the couch and the chair, uh, because I think they're very nice and they go so nicely with the items that I used in this particular building. Now I'm working on the exterior, on like the backyard of this, because I really wanted uh, the students to have an entrance to the park that's going to be here. And I really wanted to give them some items uh, like this, um, what's it called? It's not, uh, oh, uh, a Jewy skag and some other like activities. So I'll be adding them uh, shortly here, but yeah, I just really knew that I wanted uh, an entrance from this side as well. So I'm just decorating this part uh, a bit. Uh, nothing too crazy, I guess. <laughs> and I'm really working with a very, I want to say very blue color scheme. It's not blue right now, but I'll be changing the swatches again because I tried to make things cohesive and every building uh, has a certain color scheme. So of course this one is very blue. Uh, the pub really works with greens and soon we'll be moving on to the library and that's like its uh, dominant color will be orange. But here I decided that I, um, you know, I thought it would be a good idea to have some more outdoor seating for the pub. So I'm creating the space for it, but I'm getting ahead of myself because we're not working on it right now and we're going to work on the library. So the library, I think it's rather simple, but I think it makes sense, you know, you wouldn't use way too many items in a library. So there are a lot of couches and sofas and big chairs and tables so that students can, of course, study here. I'm, yeah, I really embraced warm, uh, warm, uh, like, color tones, so there are a lot of oranges and yellows. I think I'll be adding some sunflowers as well to make it very cheerful, and I imagine that this would be, like, a very nice space to hang out and, yeah, to spend some time and like it would be amazing to study. I think it's very cheerful and very optimistic. So yeah, it seemed ideal. I wasn't really too bothered by specific items that I'm using or like I wasn't too, too, what am I trying to say? Like I thought that it would be fine if things, you know, get repetitive in here because it's a public library uh, if, and if you've ever been to a library everything is actually quite repetitive uh, you know it's not like an apartment where you try to be more creative with um, with like furniture placement so it's actually usually like uh, like one side mirrors the other and I think it makes sense this way. So yeah, I added these big, like this ma these massive tables here for uh, like for study groups. Uh, I think at some point you might notice that uh, there will be a few laptops, but I'm pretty sure I deleted them uh, in the end. I don't know, like at first it made sense, but then everything felt too... Too, too busy, I guess. So I deleted them, but yeah, you can see them right now. So I didn't include uh, this part in the speed build because I know that I, uh, in the end, deleted uh, all the laptops. So yeah, uh, thought that I would, I should point that out. But uh, if you like it this way, feel free to add them, of course. Now we're working on the last floor, and this is my favorite because I use this wonderful uh, roof texture. So the light in here is oh, bloody amazing. It looks so good and oh, 
I think I would love to spend a lot of time in here. Uh, I realized that it's library and we don't have, because I deleted those laptops, so I wanted to include like classic computers. So uh, this area is for some research. I'll be also adding a chess table because uh, it was my like intention to make it uh, functional as a library. So if you, yeah, if you like want to, uh, I don't know, like set the type of house, like the lot type, you can definitely change it to library and everything should work because all the required items should be included. Anyway, I'm talking over this part and it's going to end soon, but yeah, here's this little back garden for the pub. Uh, there's also a grill because can you imagine like in summer going here, grill something and spend time with your friends? That would be amazing. But right now we're going to work on the park and that took me quite some time. So I knew that I wanted to divide this space into three, uh, three parts, kind of mirroring the way I uh, worked on those townhouses. So uh, the middle is going to be like the park, the real, real park uh, area. So I'm just trying to create a, a structured uh, a structured like mm, like a structured garden I guess with uh, some plants and flowers I'm using this base game rug to kind of guide me uh, because I'm not really good at like creating round uh, round well structures that's probably not the right word but you probably know what I mean uh, however I think I made a mistake and I moved it somehow a bit so uh, I had to fix that because yeah, right now it, it looks kind of wonky So I had to change that part of it But just a few like shuffling around of those uh, stones and it worked just fine So right now I'm like filling up these parts with flowers And this was my initial idea to just go for colorful flowers and uh, that's it But I'll be changing that shortly because it felt too ordinary Right now, though, I'm working on the... what's it called? <laughs> Not public. Community. Yeah, community garden. Sorry if you heard something, that's my neighbor. Um, so this is a community garden and uh, the industrial loft kit door is just perfect for this. So, as you can see, because the buildings use the medium... yeah medium wall size and this uh, particular door are for the short uh, wall size I had to kind of mess around with it and yeah here you can see me doing it so I basically built another building there and I placed a rooftop there and then then I just like pushed the building or like pushed the box down into the ground and then I could move the rooftop like right on this structure and it works just fine so this way you can somehow like cheat the system and place the roofing uh, like on a slightly like shorter level and I think it works just nice and it works perfectly uh, for a oh gosh greenhouse I probably haven't mentioned that this is a greenhouse it's, that's what it's called right <laughs> I hope <laughs> eh English not 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 my not my forte today, <laughs> clearly. So yeah, anyway, I'm using some lights and also, oh, these, do you see what I'm just using? These little like um, flyers, is it a flyer? Probably not. But this piece of decoration, I rarely get to use it because I think it works for these like community centers, uh, but it works just so perfectly with this greenhouse. Here I am trying to create like a, um, like, like planters basically but I made a mistake and I accidentally uh, used um, like not platforms I was supposed to use platforms but uh, these are just like floorings raised up and uh, this way uh, your sims can uh, like tent to the garden so don't worry in the final like in the final result in the, in the final <laughs> version of this build I changed them uh, so they're um, yeah so they're raised platforms and not like raised foundations. 
and that works just fine even when it's raised your sims can tend to the plants here they can water them they can uh, harvest uh, everything it works just fine uh, I also as you can see I added some um, like vegetables and um, some herbs and some trees I just found them on the Sims 4, Sims 4 gallery and just place them there however I'm pretty sure if you download this build it's a common bug in the sims that still um, is uh, still relevant even though I think the team said that they took care of it uh, it's still a bug unfortunately that uh, the plants just disappear again and you need to uh, and you need to um, like water them again and basically they're like evolution stars from the very start again so uh, it's a bit annoying so I'm pretty sure that on the gallery the plants are missing so uh, I'm so sorry this is just this is a bug uh, I think I hope it's not my mistake so sorry for that uh, also by the way I'm not sure whether you've noticed but I absolutely love that part where I place those apple underneath the apple tree I think it looks so cool I don't know why but it's such a such a small detail and I think it works nicely. Now you can see me changing this park area and I think it looks way more and uh, way more better. Way, way more better? No, that's a double comparative. So way better. And um, I love how structured it looks. So now I'm working on this part of the garden or the park and this is the area for the students to hang out. Uh, to play some music, to use the juice gag, and also there will be a place for a basketball hoop. Uh, only some interactions are available though because there's not that much of space, but still they can have some fun with that. And also, of course, as always, I created this little makeshift fireplace. Is it fireplace? No, fire pit. I used a fireplace, but yeah, it's a fire pit. But I'm pretty sure we're coming to the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching. This build will be available on The Sims 4 Gallery. My ID is bohemian underscore Ronnie. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram. The handle is same across all platforms. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, feel free to give it a like or write a comment. I always appreciate them. And if you'd like to see more of my speed builds, you can also subscribe to my channel and ding the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Have the most wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.